In this video, we're going to be talking about whether or not you should accept best offers on your items on eBay. Let's get started. Whether you're just getting started selling on eBay or you've been selling on eBay for a while, you may be trying to decide if putting best offer on your items is a good idea. And once you make that decision, if you decide to put best offer on your items, you may need help figuring out if you should accept the offer that a buyer sends you. We're going to cover all of that in this video. And if you're interested in treasure hunting for the 21st century, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified when I put out new videos. Let's start at the beginning. If you're just getting started on eBay or if you're just considering best offer, let's talk about what that means. When you put best offer on one of your items on eBay, it doesn't mean that you have to accept any offer that a person sends you. And I know you've probably heard that it can get really annoying with people sending you low ball offers, but there is a way to curtail that because you can set the amount that you will accept or the amount that it will automatically reject in your listing. And I'm gonna show you where to set that up. This is my listing. I have my Buy It Now price listed at $34.99, but I've decided to allow um, buyers to send me a best offer and I will automatically accept any offer of at least $27. That means that if they, uh, they send me an offer of $29.99, eBay will automatically accept that for me, so it takes a big step out of me having to go in, accept, and do all of that mess. And also, you can set what you will automatically decline offers for. So if anyone sends me an offer that is less than $21, eBay will automatically decline it. Anything that's in that middle range, eBay will send it to me to make that decision whether to accept it or to decline it. And technically, it would probably be better and more useful of my time to set it where the, I don't have that window where it, I make a decision a stark, like accept it above this or decline it below that because it would take another step out of it for me. But this is just how I have this one set up, but that's something to consider. So how do you figure out whether or not you should accept a best offer or what are you gonna make on an item if you take the offer that is presented to you. There's a super easy way to find out. There's a eBay final value fee calculator where you can plug in the amount that the offer is that is being sent to you, the amount you paid, and everything else so you can decide if the item is worth taking the offer on. To do this, go to the eBay final value fee calculator. I'll link it down below. You enter in the price that is the offer that they've sent you, which is the $4 here. I needed to find out how much shipping I was charging them, so I came back to my listing, and right underneath it shows the amount that I was charging for my listing. I go back into my calculator and I enter that um, price in right there. Then I'll enter in what the actual shipping cost is going to be and I think on this item it might be a little bit less than what I was charging. I enter in my item cost. I'm checking here to see if I had an inventory note which I forgot to put in. So I'm going to enter in a dollar because I don't think I would have paid more than a dollar. It was probably less. Then I decide if I have an eBay store and I do and then I need to find out if I'm a top rated seller. To find out if you're a top rated seller, go to your seller dashboard and there it will tell you whether or not you are a top rated seller. I am not, I am above average or something like that. And so I'm going to enter no. So when I do that, it will let me know what my net profit is down at the bottom. And at that point I can decide is this an amount that I would be willing to accept to pay for this item, to let the buyer buy this item. If not, then I can send them a counter offer. Again, I'll use my final value fee calculator to kind of plug in a number to decide what would be an adequate number for me to accept to get the kind of profit I would like to see on this item. So let's see what that $8.75 would bring me. It would bring me a profit of $6.86, and that is an amount that I could live with. So that's a good offer that I sent back to the buyer. At this point, you wait and see if the buyer accepts that offer or sends you a counter offer. Once again, you can set it up so you don't have to do that back and forth, but that final value fee calculator is a great way to decide where to set those price points if you are deciding what's the highest, what's the lowest you would accept. So you can go in there, make those decisions so you can make more money on eBay. I love using Best Offer. It really helps me sell some of my items, especially since I like to price high. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.